You've played your first few games of Sorcery Contested Realm and now you want more? Then this is the video for you. Hey everybody, my name is Dom, I'm the casual caster and today I'm going to show you new ways to play Sorcery. This is part 2 of a 3 part series where I show you all the different aspects of the game. If you're just starting out, I suggest you watch the first video for a basic introduction. Now let's take a deeper look. The precons are already a ton of fun, but after a while you reach the point where you want to experiment with these cards and build your own decks. If you want to keep it simple, you could just print more of the cards you already have. The rules for constructing your own decks are pretty simple. You can find them on page 32 of the rulebook. You'll need an avatar, an atlas of 20 cards and a spellbook of 40 cards. Cards are divided into 4 different rarities, as indicated in the top row of the text box. A deck can have 4 of each ordinary, 3 of each exceptional, 2 of each elite and 1 of each unique card. If you want to take it slowly, then staying within the precon pool is a great way to progress in my opinion. But there's another option which truly opens up the game for you, and that is Tabletop Simulator. If you're unfamiliar with TTS, as the name suggests, it represents a digital kitchen table for board games of all sorts. You can buy it on Steam for about $20. Then subscribe to the games you want to play. The Sorcery subscription is free and gives you access to most of the cards. This video by Spellslingers will get you set up and ready to play. And now it's time to talk about the official deck builder Curiosa.io, which you can access from the homepage. On Curiosa, you will find all revealed cards. You can build your own decks and you can check out decks from other sorcerers. To create a new deck, click on the button in the upper right corner. Give your deck a fancy name and choose an avatar. Now you can search and add cards however you like. You can have as many decks as you want. Additionally, you will find an FAQ section for all the cards. If you encounter a strange situation with a specific card, chances are it is answered in the FAQ. Or you can ask your question in the Discord server. Speaking of Discord. As I've talked about before, I encourage you to join the official Discord, which you can find in the locator section of the homepage. On Discord, you can engage with other players, ask questions, have discussions, get news, and also find players from all around the world to play against. Just state what kind of game you're looking for, and you will find someone to show you the ropes. If you feel like you're ready to take it to the next step, join the Sorcery League Discord. Opponents here will give you more of a challenge and you can also join the League when it starts. In the next video, we're going to have a deeper look at the different parts of the community. Now I want to show you where you can get physical cards. With Kickstarter delivery right around the corner, it will be interesting to see if eBay prices can hold up. Chances are, you don't want to pay that much money just to open the product and play it. I suggest you concentrate on Beta Edition, which you can still pre-order from Team Covenant until tomorrow. There's now also a Swedish shop where you can pre-order Beta Edition. So it's only a matter of time until we see more shops where you can order. You can find even more retailers that participated in the Kickstarter on the official homepage. Go to the Locator tab and choose Retail. Select your region and you get a list of all the shops. Be sure to check out this list in the future as well. And also, if you have a local game store, just talk to them. And that's it. You've taken your next steps into Sorcery. In the next video, we're going to look at different YouTube content creators and also finally focus on the art. Before you go, there's one more thing I'd like to show you. This weekend, the first few boxes of Alpha will be opened on YouTube. In this news article, you will find a list of all content creators that will participate. So check out these channels and subscribe to them for more sorcery related content. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And see you in the next video.